Hey guys, on today's video, I'm teaching you how to share everything. That includes music, movies, even your Apple TV Plus subscription with your family, which is the same thing whether you guys have an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. These are the exact same instructions. So let's just go right into your settings. In your settings, you will see the very first option where it says your name or your device's name. So just tap right there. Then we're, this is gonna pop out on the side, or if you have an iPhone, it's just gonna pop out and you will see all these options. So right now, that eighth option where it says set up family sharing, that's what we need to set up right now. So let's just tap right there and we're gonna see this screen. So we just can get started. So right now it's gonna ask us exactly what we want to share, but this is just to get started. Of course we can share all these things and we're gonna choose actually all of them so you guys can see that, including your iCloud storage. Now remember, we can choose what we want to share and what we don't. So we're just gonna select the very first option for now. Right now we just have to select continue. So at this point it's gonna ask us to share payment information. And yes, everything's gonna come on you, under your account but we can manage this and we can control this. So don't worry about it. We're gonna set that up in just a second. So at this point we can invite family members. So let's just tap right there and invite family members. And here where it says two, just make sure to put in your family members Apple ID email. So it's better if you guys send it to that email, whatever their Apple ID is using, that's the one that you guys want to choose. And the invitation has been sent out. So there's been only one invitation sent. We can always go back to family sharing. And right here on family sharing, what I wanted to show you guys is exactly what you're sharing. So right now we have TV channels that's turned on. And that's exactly what you guys want if you want to share your Apple TV Plus subscription. If we go back, we can see that we can share our purchases. We can share our iCloud space, location, screen time, Apple Music, Apple Arcade, and Apple News Plus. So yes, we can actually share everything, including our Apple Arcade subscription if you guys have one. Something else you guys might want to set up if you're sharing this with your kids, for example, is screen time. So we're just gonna turn that on. And from here, we can add a child. And in this case, you would put your child's Apple ID and password, not your own, put your child's Apple ID and password right here. And that way you guys can have your parental control over the device. Now let's say there's only a few things that you guys want to share, but not your purchase sharing. Let's just go right into your purchase sharing again. Let me just show you this. So at this point in time, I actually don't want to share my payment with my family. So what does that mean? What I have to do is stop family sharing right here. Okay. So it's going to do exactly this TV shows, books, apps, music, movies, that it's not going to let me share anymore. So they will not be able to view and download, but we can just stop the sharing right now. So it's going to turn off purchase sharing. However, what we can share is our Apple TV plus subscription. That's right here. We can also right here. If you guys had Apple arcade, I can also turn that on. Let me just go right into it. And you guys could share that as well. I'm gonna cancel that right now. Now, if I go into Apple News Plus, same deal, and Apple Music. So Apple Music, as you know, it's the same thing. It's a subscription base. So that's separate. That's not like other mu music that you guys have, right? It's Apple Music. So you guys could share that subscription. So we'll put that now. But you guys would go on if you guys had that. So anything else apart from purchases, such as these subscriptions, you guys can still share these if you turn off purchase sharing. And that includes your iCloud storage, location sharing, screen time. Anyways, once they do that and you're all set up, you're ready to go, you have shared everything you guys want, you guys can close this up and enjoy all your apps. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write it down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.